So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about another Team of the Season card. This isn't one that you can buy though, it's one you can obtain for free by completing one of this week's weekly objectives. 90 rated Team of the Season Musa Moriga can be yours if you score a goal with a Portuguese League player in 5 separate online season wins. Now I know a lot of people use the weekly objective reward as food for the Team of the Season SBC, so today we're going to be discussing how this card plays and decide if he's worth keeping or if you should be using him for them SBCs. Anyway, before we continue Continue. If you could leave a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Be sure to leave a comment because I want to know, are you guys going to get this card and what are you planning to do with it? Now all the intro stuff is out the way, let's take a look at Team the Season Moregas in-game stats. Now I don't know if it's Morega or Morega, so hopefully I'm getting it right, but hey ho, if I'm not, I do apologize. Anyway, the shooting column on this card looks pretty good. We can see this guy has good finishing of 92, great shot power of 96 and decent positioning of 88. The passing section looks, um, you know, pretty awful for a team the season card. Nothing really stands out in that area. Dribbling wise, the guy actually has a really good agility stat, but his balance and dribbling stats in looking too special. Physically, we can see this guy has 94 strength, which is very pleasing. Anywho, enough numbers. Let's talk about gameplay. Let's chat about how this team the season card performs. In six games, he scored 11 goals for me and got two assists, which is a de pretty decent record, to be honest. I found this guy to be incredibly effective on the counter-attack. His combination of power, uh, pace and strength is mad. When he breaks through, even if a defender catches him, he does normally have the strength to hold them off. Uh, this guy scored a decent amount of goals for me, and I was a big fan of his finishing. In front of goal, I thought he was very good. His shot power is incredibly effective. The finesses, though, are pretty average, and it probably doesn't help that he has a pretty low care stat. The guy is a goal scorer, though, with his feet and with his head. He's six foot one, has 94 head and accuracy, and he certainly is an aerial threat. He does have a freestyle weak foot, which obviously isn't ideal, but as you see in the clips... He actually scores a few goals uh, with his left foot for me. I found when it came to power shots inside the box with his left foot, his shooting wasn't alright, but anything else with his left foot is probably going to end up missing the target. His passing was, um, you know, not great. The short passing was alright, but his crossing and through balls were poor. He certainly isn't a complete forward. And now we come on to his dribbling. Now, Morega's dribbling in FIFA has always been his downfall. To put it in perspective, his non inform in FIFA 18 has 63 dribbling on it. His team this season card, despite having good agility, doesn't feel fluid on the ball. Don't get me wrong, he's not awful in possession, but in comparison to other highly rated forwards, his dribbling isn't anything special. He's great for running, you know, linear lines, but not for weaving in and out. Morega battled very well in games for me, he showed great strength, he does only have 53 balance though, so if he is pushed or knocked when taking off a shot or you know about to make a pass, the ball could go anywhere. I think Morega's positioning was decent and if you can get this guy in a bit of space, goals can certainly be scored because he is a finisher. Anyway, I think it's summary time. So, what are my overall thoughts on this guy? To be honest, I like this card, but I can see why some people wouldn't. It was pretty effective for me, scored some good and key goals. Now, the question of the video isn't, is he worth picking up? Because, you know, you should certainly go out and get this guy because he's easy to obtain and it's a free 90 rated team of the season card. At the end of the day, you'd be stupid not to go out and get him. The question of the video is, is Team the Season Moriga worth keeping or should he be thrown into a TOTS SBC? If you can handle the lack of dribbling ability, I'd actually keep this guy as a super sub because a pacey strong attacker coming off the bench to attack tied defences is good to have. But if you can't get to grips with his dribbling or don't want to use someone with two star skills or just don't see yourself using this card at all because he doesn't fit your team, then, you know, throw him into the SBC. At the end of the day, if you're going to use him, keep him because obviously if you get rid, you can't get him back. But if you're not going to use him, chuck him in that SBC and hopefully you'll get a good pack. But um, I actually enjoyed using this guy, but like I said, I can see why some people wouldn't. He's free to obtain, so I do recommend you try him out yourselves before deciding whether to shove him in an SBC or not. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on this Team of the Season card. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. Comment below what you're going to do with this card. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.